This season, trust Severe Weather Center not. Thanks for joining us for Eyewitness News this Saturday. I'm Gina Esposito. And I'm Phil Orban. Let's get you caught up on what you need to know, and it starts with the forecast. Lee? Well, this morning we had a lot of fog. Now that is completely gone, but now we have the warm temperatures. They're heating up fast. That forecast is coming up. A fly from Charles Douglas dropped 15,000 feet in the air in just three minutes. Hear from passengers about the scary moments. Plus, newly released 911 calls about missing North Carolina woman Alicia Watts. Why the caller was concerned for her well-being. You're watching Eyewitness News live on Saturday and stepping out the door. Even this morning, it was a little bit uncomfortable, and even now, it's just... Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Lee, you mentioned this. We had the fog this morning, and then it's gone now. Yeah, it didn't take long to burn that off. Mm -hmm. It lasted for a couple of hours, but then as soon as that sun really started warming things up, it was not messing around, yeah. and it has not stopped warming since then, and it's not going to stop until maybe 4, 5, even 6 o'clock. We may still be seeing those temperatures go up. Let's take a look at what's going on in Beach Mountain. I thought it would pick one of the cooler spots around the area. We'll take a look at that. You have variably cloudy skies, just enough sun breaking through to make it really pretty out there. That's how we're starting off the afternoon. You can we'll zoom in a little bit closer for you. Let you take a little bit closer view of those clouds. Here are the temperatures for now. If you're in the higher elevations, these numbers are not bad at all. Now you still have the high humidity. You're not really getting a break necessarily from that part of it. You just don't have temperatures there as hot. Jefferson, you're at 76, 78 is your temperature in boom.